Hey, it's Dean O'Dell with Seven Gables Real Estate and the O'Dell Group. Today is February 25th. It's time for another Tustin Talks. We are going to give you a summary of the charts at first. You could stop at any time and freeze them if you just want to look at them, but I will be giving explanations to each chart following the summary. So here we go. Okay, so first chart is Orange County Active Listing Inventory year over year. Second chart is Orange County Demand year over year, comparing the last 30-day period to this 30-day period. The third chart breaks down the price ranges, shows you the expected marketing time, the marketing speed, the share of housing inventory, the share of demand, and how it's selling compared to last year. And the final chart is the average of the expected marketing time for a property to sell. Okay, so let's look at the active listing inventory chart. So what we see here is unbelievable, you guys. 2,438 homes going into the month of March. That is so ridiculously low, I can't even tell you. These are historical lows in Orange County for inventory. You can see last year there were 4,030 homes. The year before there were 6,200. So we are down 61% from two years ago and down 40% from last year on inventory to sell. That is just crazy. Looking at the last 30 days of demand as compared to last year, you can see we have 2,863 homes in escrow in the last 30 days in Orange County. That's up 273 homes from last year. Last year was 2,479 homes or 13% less. Now, for you guys really paying attention, the active listing inventory I told you was 2,438 and the amount of homes in escrow are 2,863. Think about that. Demand is outpacing supply. That's the first time that's happened in a long time. Hey, sorry to interrupt this program, but we want to make sure you are subscribed to Test and Talk. So please click on the subscribe button below. And then if that doesn't work, just go to the odellgroup.com or you can go to youtube.com forward slash Test and Talks. Now let's get you back to the program. Moving on to expected marketing time, we can see how it breaks down by price range. And you can take a look at this chart and see that it is a hot market in most of the price ranges. The only price range that's even slow, if you consider 60 days slow, would be two to four million. And it was 134 days last year. So you can see how the speed of the market is just really up there. You know, finding buyers for these homes is not the hard part. Finding the right buyers and best buyer for you is the hard part. And that's where it takes the right agent. Looking at the expected marketing time year over year, if you average it out, we are down to 26 days. Last year, we were at 49. Two weeks ago, we were at 29 days. So the market just keeps speeding up. But we are at a point where we need to get some inventory in. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on here. We have current demand outpacing current supply. And that is a scary situation. Uh, normally at this time of year in a normal market, we would have 10,000 homes out there to choose from in Orange County. And as I told you right now, got a lot less than that, almost three quarters less than that. So we have a long way to go here to get this market to normalize. I wanna read something to you from Steve Thomas's Orange County Housing Report. This is a big concern for a lot of people because they think that the market's overheating, there's multiple offers on everything, and all we're thinking back to is like the last great recession when we went, hey God, is this 2006, 2007 all over again, right? So let's, let me read this excerpt from his housing report. Uh, everyone's head immediately retreats to the last time there was a comparable buyer frenzy in housing, the years leading up to the great recession. However, there were over six times the number of homes available in 2006, a year before the start of the Great Recession. That was 16,000 homes that were on the market. Homes were far less affordable with mortgage rates at 6.5%. Lender qualifications were loose with a disproportionate number of subprime, zero down and pick up payment loans, tons of cash out refinances and fraudulent lending practices. The transgressions of the real estate industry ultimately led to the deep recession where values plummeted. 
In contrast, today's housing has an extremely strong foundation with years of tight lending qualifications, large down payments, and plenty of nested equity and limited cash out refinances. So there you guys go. That is the difference between where we were then and where we are now. I know it feels similar, but it is not similar, okay? I know the buyers wanna sit back and just wait for the market to crash. We're already seeing rates start to creep up. Rates, I think I've told you in past videos, are supposed to go up as high as 3.5% this year, maybe 3.9%. The market really overheats, but we're already coming out of that 3% range. So every time rates move a half a percent, that kills purchasing power by an average of 5%. But there are so many buyers for the price ranges that are out there right now that we're still going to see plenty of offers. So do not give up buyers. You wanna lock in these rates long-term. That's what you want. Things are gonna get better, but it's going to take a long time. And sellers, I honestly don't know what you're waiting for unless you are absolutely in love with Southern California or you still can only earn your living here or maybe family's keeping you tied here. But I'm telling you, if you're untethered right now and you could go anywhere, I've never seen a better time to go. Okay, so you can you read about it in the news, you can see what's going on, people are working remotely, they're moving out of the state, all that kind of stuff. It's just a great opportunity, like never, ever, ever seen before, okay? My partner, who's been in the business 42 years, has never seen anything like this, okay? I've been in 30, never seen anything like this. The reality is, probably won't see it again. So it's coming to an end. Prop 19 is something to pay attention to as well. If you have questions on that, give me a call. I can explain Prop 19 to you, or maybe we'll do another video on Prop 19 with some updates. That is taking effect April 2nd, okay? So that's about it for today's Tustin Talks. We will see you on the next one where we're gonna do a little bit more Tustin data on that one along with the Orange County housing market. So thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, don't forget the Odell Group is one of the top 10 teams in Orange County. We have sold thousands of homes. So draw from our experience and let us help you out. Subscribe right now and watch our videos to educate yourself, whether you're a buyer, seller, or both. And then visit our website at theodellgroup.com and reach out and let's get to know each other so we can help you. All right, thanks, bye-bye.